are back YouTube. We are in Troy, Missouri at the Lincoln County Gun Show. It is February 10th. It is 4 p.m. They have just opened up, so let's head inside and see what kind of deals we can find. We are in Lincoln County, Troy, Missouri. Mr. Jim, as always, good to see you, sir. How are you doing, Mr. Jim? Look at the little cannon. You need that. I need this cannon right here. I got. I brought a couple guns to see if anybody wanted to trade, so we'll see what I can do. Got a Smith and Wesson 65-3357. We got the TriStar Canic 650. We got a Glock 37 850. A French Mac 7.62, 7.65 log for 650. We got a Smith and Wesson 642 lightweight 900. Mm. Enfield MK2 750. Ooh, Colt Cobra King 357. Pretty gun, pretty gun. 1150. Smith and Wesson 38 special. 875. Springfield Armory XDE 45 700. Ruger Blackhawk 357. Got 775 on that tag. Smith and Wesson 32 long 650. Ruger 380, 450, Colt DA 38, 7. Oh, high standard, 22, 700 bucks. Oh, I've got one of these. Let's see. Oh, Stevens 350 pump, that 20 gauge. You got a 253 Weatherby mag, 850. Couple old rifles. Look at this guy. Very pretty gun. That is a Winchester Model 70, 338 Magnum. Very nice. Denny's guns, 1100 plus AR. Got a Stoger P350 12, 550. Look at this. Tristar Viper G2 12 gauge, 900. We got a Pickett's, Pickett's Mill Armory, 7362 by 39, AR47, AR15. Ooh, 700 bucks. What we got here? Don't see no price tags. Oh, coach gun. Everybody needs a coach gun. see some tags We've got a remington 1187 12 gauge 775 mm, old old cap and ball we got a a herman i can't pronounce that four millimeter single shot target rifle 1200 very very pretty gun very pretty gun Mind if I get a picture of these guns? Got a Winchester Model 97 Black Diamond Trap, 12 gauge. Got a Winchester Remington Model 31, 550. Winchester Model 47, 325, 20 caliber. This appears to be a functional cannon and a Napoleonic cannon with fuse and ball, 69 caliber, 750. Well, I don't need it. <laughs> Little 45, 410, Ducton, 220, 375 for an Ivar Johnson, 32 cal. A lot of old guns at this gun show. Got a Colt MK2, Series 80 Mustang 380, 38, 380 Auto, sorry, 995. What is this? Belgian Perk BB Caliber 230, 32 Caliber, 200 bucks. A Whitneyville 
1871 32 RF revolver. I've never seen it. These are a lot of old guns here today. Any purchase over 500, I throw that in for free. Absolutely. Oh, my wife don't care. She knows where I'm at. That's the, that's I'm a lucky one like that. What we got here, a CVA Frontier. Very, very pretty gun. Look at that finish. I like my cap and balls. 550 on that one. We'll go back around, take a look at it. He says, now nah, you guys see the other side. Very pretty gun. Some more, ooh, another double barrel. 575 on this double barrel, CVA. Let's see. Right, I got a little single shot, Eastern Arms. 20 gauge, 175, Remington pump, 500. Remington 870. Tags on these. Another Remington 870 with a some type of optic I've never seen. Huh. Four plus one gun there. You got a Mossberg 935, 500. Browning VPS 650. Little Stevens 22. Got 300 on the tag on that one. Got the little Mossberg 22 all kitted out. Let's see what they got on the tag here. 450. Little Stevens Arms, little another Scout 22, old guy right there, six four four fifty 450 on that one, a little Colt 22, 500. First synopsis of the show, this is an older gun show. Uh, I'm finding a lot of older guns, a lot of used guns. Haven't seen much in the way of new guns, but let's keep looking. A lot of paraf gun paraphernalia, um, antiques and collectibles at this show. Not too terrible much in the way of new firearms. I haven't been through the whole thing yet. We got more collectibles, collectible money, um, geodes, leather items. A lot of, looks like a lot of collectibles here. This is what you're into. It's the kind of show to get it. Arrowheads, pictures, a lot of history. A lot of history at this show. That's for sure. Ooh, beautiful guns, beautiful guns. Let's see. Yeah, see that Kimber Super Carry, 975. See a SAR, I don't see the price tag on it though. I brought one of those in the car to trade. 475 for a Springfield. A Les Bear Custom 2400. Nice gun right there. 22 right there. Can't see much of the price tags on these things. <laughs> Smith and Wesson MMP 625. This is Winchester 1300, 850 for this thing. Very pretty gun right here. Look at that. Very nice rack of shotguns right there. We got a Savage A22 Magnum. I don't see any price tags on these. There's 2200 on this one right here. This Winchester 3040. That 3040 Craig? Oh, that's an old school gun right there. I ain't seen a 3040 Craig in a long time. Maybe I gotta remember because my name's Craig, so that's why I know that that round right there. Let's see. Some more coach guns. Got 550 on the one on the end. Got another 550 on this Bayard Arms coach. Got a 30 odd six with a scope. I guess a Encore 30 odd six. A lot of pretty guns. Savage 99, 300. Got the Taurus G3, 360. Another Taurus G3, 360 on that. Your SCC Ys, 275. Got the red dot. Not a bad price for red dot. Another one without for 260. 
We got a Ruger EC9S, nine millimeter, 278. Got a couple more 12 gauges here. Got a knife, knife peddler, a lot more, mem lot more memorabilia, a lot of very niche market gun show here. A lot of very unique items. Got a lot of these more historical guns at this show for sure. A lot of expensive old guns here. M1 carbine, 1450. Got a Swiss M1878 carbine. Remington model 22, model number 16, 800. Got a Stoger Uplander 410 double, 485. Sounds fun. Ooh, we've got Osprey Global here. I wonder if Osprey might have a... Uh, Red dot, low profile red dot for the A Rex Delta X we just picked up. Ruger 1022, 450 for this one. American Eagle 22, this one right here, 200. Got the Henry Silver Boy, the Octagon Barrel, very pretty gun. 825 on that guy right there. Got some Remington Model 514, 290 on that one. So it's 340 on this early Marlin Auto. What we got down here? Got 850 on this AR right here. Got 850 on this one right here. All look like some used old high point carbine. Nice array of single shots. Ooh, the old pump. Pump 22s. Not what I'm wanting to pay for, but. All very nice. Show special, 700. AR-15. Got a lower down here. Got the AR pistol. AR pistol with the blade, 790. Oh, old 850 tag. AK. I don't know what brand that is. AK-820. Very, very pretty guns here. Ooh, wow. That is a Model 71. Beautiful gun, beautiful gun. SKS 650. Okay, we got a little high point down there, 200 bucks. Probably the cheapest high point I've seen in a long time. That's good. 375 for the SAR Arms. Nine millimeter, that's really not too bad. I wouldn't think. All right, gun showers, this is rare. I'm uh, not seeing a whole lot of great deals uh, inside the gun show right now. That's okay. Um, this seems to be more like a niche market gun show where um, a lot of old wheel guns, a lot of old lever guns, a lot of old guns. And uh, while that is awesome, just not really my thing typically. So what piqued my interest the most in there was the was the cannon, to be honest, because I'm that's who I am as a person. I'm gonna go walk the show one more time, make sure I didn't pass up anything in there I would want to buy, and uh, we'll make our purchase. We're, we're gonna see. I'll see if he wants to sell it. I, I the. A lot of the guns here aren't my style. A cannon fits my personality. Mary, if you'll take 500, he could sell that cannon today. But I don't know if he's gonna take five, so we're gonna find out. We're gonna find out. Mon, you wanna sell that cannon? Huh? Yeah, I'll you, sell you the cannon, man. You wanna sell me that cannon right there? I, I can't really find anything I wanna buy at this show except for this cannon. Well, now, let me tell you about it. Tell me about it. All right. Sell me this, this cannon. This made by Traditions back in the 70s. Okay, I like it's history. It's called uh, Napoleonic cannon okay. 69 caliber this is what it shoots hold on let me get down in there it's a 69 caliber mini do you bar. have do you have powder for it uh powder or do i need to buy some powder you need to get uh 1f black powder one f one i think i have some and what i recommend shoot these up and then get you a casting mold and just cast some 69 caliber round ball mm -hmm. 
That's all you need. Well, I mean, technically, I can shove anything I want down the cannon. You can't, but it has to be your cannon first. I know, right? <laughs> so does do I use a patch just like? You, uh, if you're gonna shoot like like, like ball bearings or yep. something, yes, it's gonna. Get it, it has to have a tight seal. Yeah. And then you have your cleaning rod, your plunger. Now, this is you just turn it around to your plunger. Okay, so you can do this. This is your you elevation, your adjustment. It actually shoots very well. Okay. Yeah, see how it's raising the barrel, yeah. which is going to lower your shot. Yep. And it's got some thump to it. So, and it's a modern cannon, so you can shoot it. This is your de your fuse. How long? This is a slow burning fuse, so this is probably 50 to 100 shots. Okay. Okay. What do you recommend? Two to four inches, or? You don't need any more than about that. That's all I got in life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Hey, I hear you. But well, let's uh, let's deal. Let's I take. You got 750 on it. Yep. How about? I, I come and I come to spend 500 bucks. Will you take 500 for that cannon? Yeah, man. Well, his hand was in the air before I even looked back. Hey, I paid for it. Oh, for it so well, don't tell me it. that. Don't tell me that. There you go. Hey, I got to make a little Damn. bit. Damn. Well, now that's, I'm trying to get him yeah. my lowest. Yeah. I should have went a little lower. No Let's get this. Uh, here, I got to set this cannon. You yeah, you count it for me. I think that's 500. Make sure it is first. Uh, hey man, all right, good. thank you, Monty. I appreciate it. it uh, is now yours. I only had 500 on me, and I brought some guns to trade, but I didn't want to throw in a whole gun like for that to too. Back down here for you. Um, you I'll, I'll uh, okay. carry it out right now and okay. film it carrying out. Or ooh, Mary, oh, gonna, Mary got gotcha. you. All right. All well, right. thank you, sir. And all don't right. forget your fuses on there. All right. Remember, it's a slow burn fuse. It's okay. Yeah. Words, you don't have to. You don't have to use this much. I, no, I don't three inches. And about three what inches. I would do, is cut, cut, about, cut about an inch or two inches. I'm only good for three inches. And, and, I'm not going a, there. And do a test. Do I, oh, absolutely. No, no, we'll play. So that way you see how yep. slow it burns. Okay, quit talking. You're going to make me say something. Like all right, all right. Well, <laughs> we found us a cannon today on the gun show show. All right, YouTube. Well, this show was a little smaller than the ones we've been to this year, and it was very much niche in terms of the type of guns here. A lot of wheel guns, a lot of old wood stock guns, a lot of lever guns, just stuff I'm typically not keen into buying, just not my flavor. Uh, for the guys who do like that kind of stuff, this was a great show for any antique collectible, collectible firearms. Make sure to catch up on the next episode when we go out, take the cannon, shoot it at the farm, and uh, see what else we can shove down that barrel and make go boom. All right, make sure you guys like, subscribe, hit that bell, catch me at the next episode. It should be in two weeks.